Hey everyone, today we're checking out the brand new Zalith Launcher 2, the next gen version of the popular Zalith Launcher for running Minecraft Java Edition on Android. Let's go through all the new features and changes in just two minutes. Zalith Launcher 2 isn't just an update, it's a completely new project built from the ground up. It's powered by Podjav Launcher's core, but redesigned using Jetpack Compose with Material Design 3 giving it a super clean, modern UI. The layout is smoother, faster, and finally supports custom themes and better touch controls for both phones and tablets. They switched from Netty to CIO Engine, improving offline Yggdrasil login support and network stability. You'll also notice better runtime management. JDK8 and newer Java versions now load correctly without breaking older mods. Plus, they added support for version isolation, meaning every Minecraft version can have its own mods, resource packs, and configs. No more mix-ups. Xylith Launcher 2 now supports importing mods, shaders, and resource packs directly from your storage. It also improves controller layouts, adds gyroscope aiming, and smoother touch mappings. Great for PvP or survival worlds. Oh, and translations are now synced via Weblate, so the launcher supports more languages than ever. So yeah, Zalith Launcher 2 is cleaner, faster, and smarter than before. It's still in beta, so expect some bugs, but it's already shaping up to be the best way to play Minecraft Java on Android. If you want a setup tutorial or comparison with Pojav Launcher, drop a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates.